Hey everyone, Mick here. So this week I'm doing an intermittent fasting challenge, uh, 18 by 6 method. So what that means is fasting for 18 hours a day and eating all my food in a 6 hour window. Now I usually get up uh, at about 5, 5.30 for work, catch a train to Melbourne and I'm usually home by about 4.30ish. So I'm thinking my window will be about 11 till 5 or uh, 12 till 6 depending on the day. Um, but that'll generally be the window that I'm working with. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to document this process. Um, today is day one. Uh, it is 8.25. I'm working from home today. I got up at five. I had a bit of a cough, so I'm working from home. Um, so I started work at seven. Uh, I've been up since about quarter to seven. I'm not going to try and eat anything until about 12 today. I've got some water here. Um, it's going to be a proper intermittent fast. It's going to be like no black coffee, uh, nothing else. So it's essentially just water until my eating window. So yeah, intermittent fasting starting today, Monday 2nd of March uh, for one week, the 18-6 method. We'll see how we go. Um, I'll document the foods that I'm eating, um, how I'm feeling, how much water I've drunk and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so it's 11.25. I'm feeling a bit hungry. I've had about 600 mils of water so far, and I'm about to have my first meal. Uh, not the healthiest of meals, not the most organized. I've just gone down to the local bakery and grabbed a, a wrap and a couple party pies. I love party pies. Uh, and a Coke, no sugar, which we've already got in uh, in the fridge here. So I'll quickly show you what I'm having. This will be uh, 11.25. Obviously, I haven't been fasting properly the day before because I'm only starting today. I think my last meal was about 7 o'clock last night. Um, but obviously when I finish eating today, my window will close and then I'll start 18 hours. Uh, but I'll show you the food and uh, this will be the first meal on day one. So we've got a uh, chicken schnitzel wrap, two party pies, and a can of Coke, no sugar. Okay, so I'm about to have my second meal for day one here on the intermittent fasting 18.6. Uh, I've got a rice dish with some uh, carrots and with some uh, sausages. So rice and sausages with a few little um, veggies in there and some peas and some corn, things like that. I'll turn it around and I'll show you. I'm also going to have a banana uh, before I have that. I just went uh, on the treadmill. Uh, obviously starting to um, train for the Mother's Day Classic in May. Uh, and I've got a bottle of water here as well. I think I've already had almost uh, about 1.2, 1.3 litres of water today. I need to probably have another liter or so before I go to bed. Hydrate. Um, the only other thing that I've had, other than what you saw this morning, uh, was a glass uh, of uh, not really a soft drink, but it's like a mineral water, um, like a Waterford's. It's got pretty low calories in it. So I'll turn it around. Um, so this is the dinner. This is the rice dish uh, with the sausages and a few little veggies. Haven't had enough veggies or greens today. I realize that. Uh, hopefully I can be better on that tomorrow. Uh, the banana, and this was the glass uh, where I had the water fits in earlier, and obviously uh, my bottle of water here as well. So uh, it's now 5.10 or 5.11. I'll have all this finished by 5.30. Uh, so my fast window uh, for the 18 hours will start uh, at 5.30 tonight, and then we'll see um, if I can go the 18 hours until uh, until tomorrow to my six hour window. So day one, um, yeah. Down in the books, only thing I'll have after this is just more water. Uh, if that does change, if I have a snack, um, I'll let you know. Actually, I might have a couple of little um, biscuits and some dip that my wife made, uh, but I'll have that straight after dinner, so I'll be finished eating uh, by 5.30. Okay, so it's 11.45 on day one. I'm still fasting, so at the moment it's been uh, eight hours and 22 minutes. I've got some oats there uh, in the milk, getting nice and soft. So I'll have them, I've just come out here to the park to get some fresh air before I have my first meal. I've had about a litre of water, and I'll show you on the app now uh, how long it's been. So I'm currently 23 minutes over the 18 hour window. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school.
Okay, so I've just done a short session on the treadmill and a few body weight exercises. I'm about to have my last meal. Uh, so it is kind of like um, a mince, it's like a shepherd's pie mix. Uh, it's got a little bit of cheese, got potato, it's got sweet potato, uh, it's got the mince, we've got some carrots, we've got some pumpkin, and then I've got two little balls, uh, like protein balls, to have for dessert. Uh, so that's the dinner there, and then two protein balls on the side, and it's um, almost 20 to 6, 5.38, and obviously i got my water there as well, I've had about uh 1.5 liters of water today not quite enough uh, but i'm getting there uh so far i'm gonna have at least two liters a day uh yes that'll be the final food for today uh, i've got about 14 to 16 minutes left in my window uh, if i go over five minutes it's okay i'll just make sure i fast for the 18 hours um i mean today i went 18 and a half uh, before i had my meal so i'll have this and this will be uh the the end of uh, the day today Okay, so it's 5.45. Um, I started later today because my wife Kylie plays basketball on a Tuesday night. So my window started at the normal time, but I've only just gotten home. So I don't have much time left to get my food in. Uh, looks like I've got about 15 minutes left to get my food in now. I am feeling pretty bloated today. I did have a lot of, uh, as you'll see in the video, I had like uh, 10 to 15, maybe yeah, more than 15 uh, Savoy crackers with that dip. I had the rest of that dip. That was just too much. And then I had the chocolate... Um, the chocolate hot cross bun and just way too many carbs obviously with the um with the rice as well for lunch um i haven't had the orange yet i'm gonna have the orange now and i'm just gonna literally have a toasted cheese sandwich because i didn't have any other meals out um because we've run out of all the cooked meals that we prepared uh so we are gonna go shopping again uh, tomorrow night uh, and get some stuff hopefully we'll be able to get more greens and some more vegetables then as well and put them into our meals uh but i'll quickly show you what i'm about to have now uh water wise i think i'm at uh, I don't know, 2.1 litres maybe for the day. Yeah, let me quickly see if I can quickly check. Or maybe only 1.6. I've got to try and have uh, more in the morning. Uh, oh, where is it? What am I doing? Yes, yeah, so I'm at 1.6 litres of water. Um, ideally, I want to try and have at least 1 to 1.5 before I start my meal, uh, before I open my window uh, in the morning. I think today it was only about 600 mils, so not quite enough. Uh, but I'll turn around now and show you what I'm having. So I didn't have that orange earlier that I showed you in the in the footage that you would have just seen. Excuse me. Uh, I didn't have the orange earlier. And just a toasted cheese sandwich, pretty basic. Uh, so I'm going to have that now. And that'll be all the food for today. And then I'll try and get at least another uh, litre of water in. That'll bring me up to uh, 2.6 litres. So I'll get another litre of water in, hopefully. Bring me up to 2.6. Uh, and I might, I might have to wait an hour or so before I do a uh, workout uh, once I've had this food. And uh, not too bad because tomorrow I actually work from home. So I'll be able to prepare a bit easier, get my work head in a bit easier. I don't have my hour and a half travel uh, each way on the train. So uh, this is uh, day three, if you will. I mean, today's Wednesday. Obviously, the, starting on Monday, I hadn't fully fasted for 18 hours because I wasn't doing it on Sunday. Uh, I've done two full fasts now of 18 hours and quite easily uh, hit that target. I haven't... Uh, today, a little bit, I was like, mm, I feel like I could eat. Uh, at about half an hour to go, uh, but then I got stuck at some work and ended up going over about 15 minutes or so anyway again. Um, but yeah, other than that, I find it quite easy um, to to fast in the morning. I think the biggest thing for me is trying to actually fit all the food in, in the window, uh, and especially with the travel time, having to come home um, you know, an hour and a half on the train, especially now that I'm trying to work out as well. Um, it's hard because I want to work out before I've eaten my last meal, uh, but then sometimes, like tonight, I'm not going to get time to do that, so... That'll be the uh, the main thing. But yeah, I might even have to just have a big meal before I leave work, a proper dinner, uh, and then maybe just have like a piece of fruit uh, before I go do my workout uh, moving forward. But I'll, I'll work that out over the next few weeks. Um, next week I might do like 24 uh, and see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, day three down on uh, intermittent fasting, 18.6. Okay, so it's Thursday. It is, what is it, 12.06. I'm about to break my fast and have my first meal. Um, I've been fasting for 18 hours and 10 minutes. 
Now, I do got to go out this afternoon uh, with my wife for an appointment, so it's going to be tricky to try and eat all my food today. So I might have this meal now, and then before I go in the next hour, have a kind of a, a small meal and snack, and then have my larger meal when I go home, when I get home later on. Um, so far today, I've had uh, 1.6 litres of water, which is good. So just, I wanted about one to one and a half litres before my first meal of the day. Um, I did take some footage a minute ago, but I'll show you the first meal of the day now. So we've got uh, oats, they are quick oats, uh, in some rice milk, or oat milk, and uh, blueberries. So that'll be the first meal. Okay, it's 3.15, I'm about to have my second food for the day. Uh, I've got a little small little handful of cashew nuts. I've got three of the protein balls that my wife made. And I've got a chicken and cheese toasty and uh, some water. I think I'm up to 2.1 liters of water already today. Uh, but I'll turn it around now and uh, show you my foods. This will be... Uh, my second meal slash snacks and then I'll have one meal later on about maybe 5 5 30 ish uh, once we get home from some doing some errands and that'll probably just be a uh, chicken salad wrap like I mentioned earlier but I'll show you the food I'm having now so we've got the chicken toasty chicken and cheese toasty the small amount of cashews three protein balls and obviously some more water so I just finished um, all the other stuff, and I'm still feeling a bit peckish. Um, so I just had another toasty. That's uh, another chicken cheese toasty, and I'll just show you it now. Same as the last one. There it is there. Another chicken cheese toasty. Okay, so I've made my two wraps. Uh, that was the one fillet there. That's what's left, so Kyla will use that in hers. She's just starting to make hers now. Uh, so I've got the chicken there as well. I've got the barbecue seasoning on top, as you can see. Those two, uh, that'll be dinner. I'm not sure what time we're, we're down to now. Oh, I've got seven and a half minutes. <laughs> but I'm not going to make myself sick, so I'll just eat them however long it takes. And then, um, yeah, that'll be it. More water after that. I just about I just folded mine up, and then Kai reminded me that we had tomato to go in as well. So I've just added some tomato in them both, wrap them back up, and eat my dinner. Okay. Okay, so I'm just finishing up, and I've gone over, I'm about to be uh, four minutes over my window, you can see here, and I'm going to start my fast. So I was about, almost just under four minutes over, that's okay. Um, so tomorrow my window opens at 12.15, which is probably not too bad, I have a meeting from 11 till 12, I can prep some food and eat it uh, at 12.15. Okay, so I've just made my dinner. Uh, this is day five, Friday, 6th of March. Uh, I made two chicken salad wraps. Uh, the wraps are cold, chicken's cold. Um, chicken that I cooked last night, just basically the same thing I had last night, uh, just on its own. I think I might have had something else with it last night, I can't remember. Um, no, maybe not. And just some water. Uh, so it's uh, five hours and 41 minutes into my eating window, so I've got just under 20 minutes tonight, a bit more time uh, to eat this, so I'll enjoy it. Um, and this will be all I'll have for the rest of the day. And then we'll be on to Saturday and uh, going out for lunch tomorrow um, for combined mine and, and Kylie's birthday uh, lunch with the family. So we're going to like a barbecue uh, Tex-Mex joint, so it'll be good. Um, and I think that's scheduled for 12, so it'll be within my window. Um, but yeah, that'll be the first meal tomorrow and it'll be dinner tonight. I'm just anal analyzing the food, making sure it's all okay. Okay, so it's 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, back home from Melita and running a few errands at the supermarket. Um, so as you'll see in the footage, I had the uh, chips. I had one beer and then I had the, the double burger. Uh, I'm about to have a can of Coke now. And then I might have a, a toasted cheese and 
uh, chicken sandwich, and then I'll have some um, some soup for dinner. But I'll show that all as well, and that might be all. I haven't had enough water yet today. Uh, I've had uh, I put uh, I put a liter into my log so far, but that includes this here, and there's still probably about 300 mil in that left. So I've only had 700 mil, not enough water. So I'll have a drink of that, and I'll try and get up to two two and a half liters before the end of the day. Okay, so it's 4:30. I'm just having a snack. Uh, like I mentioned before, I'm having the um, chicken and cheese toasty. I'll show you now. Basic meal, basic snack. Okay, so it's almost 5.30. I'm about to have my dinner. Uh, five hours and 18 minutes into my window, so it's good. Plenty of time to eat. Uh, I've got a... Uh, my wife just prepared... Uh, she's heated up the pumpkin soup for me and I got a couple pieces of bread to dip in it as well So I'll turn around and uh, show you my meal So I've got the pumpkin soup and two pieces of bread with a little bit of butter Okay, so it's uh, Sunday I'm about to break my fast. We just went and saw a movie uh, which was not hard, but normally I'd like to eat and drink while watching the movie at the cinema, but I didn't. Uh, so I'm 18 hours, 28 minutes into my fast. I'll turn it around a second and show that. I'm just going to have um, three protein balls, and then we're about to head to the, the Sporting Globe pub, uh, watch some footy and watch the UFC. So I'll probably um, just have some maybe some chips and a, and a wrap there and a few beers. So you can see there, 18, 28, and these are the protein balls that I'm about to have. And then we'll uh, head to the pub. So we just finished at the Sporting Globe and we had Maccas, as you saw. And now I've got a soft surf going, still got about 15 minutes left in my window. That'll be it for today, and then lots of water. Because I ended up having, I don't know, like two pints and five or six Ballantines, um, and then a double quarter pounder meal. Just uh, no Coke though, um, just the burger and the fries. And I got a water, which I'll have, and then my soft serve cone, which I'm having now, and then my window will close. Okay, so I've been fasting for 18 hours, 21 minutes. I went for a walk this morning, probably about 1.5 Ks. Uh, just done some work in the backyard. Uh, bath the dogs as well, which is a bit of an effort. Um, I've had some uh, quick oats and blueberries in some oat milk. Uh, sitting here probably almost for an hour now, I'd say. It was about 40, 50 minutes when I, to go on my fast when I created it or when I whipped it up and put it in the fridge. Um, and just some more water. So there's my, my oats. Obviously, there's a fair bit of milk in these. You can't even see the oats, uh, but it's in there being soaking up. Uh, we've got the blueberries, quite a few of those. Thought I'd use the rest of those up. And uh, just another 600 ml water. And then uh, I'll log whatever else I'm having for the rest of the day. But, uh, yeah, about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, 18 hours, 22 minutes, and I'll end the fast now. And we can eat... Mm, very good. All right, I'm going to eat this meal. So yeah, cheese toasty, banana, coke, no sugar. Okay, so dinner, I've got two chicken salad wraps. Just going to put some seasoning on. Okay, so it's like 5.20. I've got another hour in my window. Uh, we're going to watch some stuff on telly, so I'll have these and maybe I'll have a snack. I don't know, see how I go. Okay, so I've finished dinner, and we're going to watch a TV show, maybe a documentary, depending on time. Uh, I just got myself a, a lemonade, and then we've got, Kai's got some of these mashups. So it's got Twisties, Doritos, and Cheetos all in the one bag, and I'm going to have some of those as well. And you can see there, 5 hours, 25 minutes, and I'm going to start my 18 hour fast.
Okay, so it's Tuesday, 10th of March. I'm home from work. A little bit of shopping on the way home. Pick up a bit, a few bits of pieces. Uh, 25 minutes left in my window. We've still got all that cooked chicken. And obviously the, the stuff for the insides. I've got some more wraps. Um, so we've got the chicken salad wraps. Um, Going to have two of those. And just some water, nothing else. Um, and then, yeah, that'll be it. 25 minutes uh, left. Next week might be a bit tricky. Uh, but I'll get into that later. I've got some uh, overnight work to do, so it might be hard to stay on the 18.6, how that's going to work. Uh, but yeah, I'll have this meal, and that'll be it for today. So again, same as last time. Just two chicken wraps. So it is Wednesday the 11th of March. I'm just about to have my dinner um, over my window so far by two minutes. So I've been uh, in the eating window for six hours and two minutes. Um, just lots of issues with the public transport today. <coughs> Excuse me, there was a defective train on my line. So I was sitting at the Footscray station, I don't know, for about an extra 40, 45 minutes. Um, then I had to go do some shopping at the shopping center after I finally got back to the station. Um, it's Kylie's birthday tomorrow, so I went and picked her up a couple things. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to eat now. I got the two wraps, the last bit of the cooked chicken, and a can and a, can and a um, glass of lemonade. That'll be it. Uh, it'll probably take me, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes so to eat, so I'm not going to go over by that much. Um, I did fast for an extra 40 minutes today. I think it was 18.40 before I opened up my window, so it just means tomorrow I'm going to eat a bit later, which I'll probably do anyway because we're going out for dinner for Kylie's birthday tomorrow, so... I'll start my window a bit later. I'll still get my 18 hour fasting. And then basic uh, chicken salad wraps and glass of lemonade. Okay, so I've finished my wraps and my soft drink. And I'm going to close my window uh, six hours and 16 minutes. You can see there, six hours and 16 minutes, and I shall start my fast. Okay, so I've made it uh, 10 days fasting on 18.6. Uh, there was, I think, one or two days where I slightly went over my six-hour eating window, but I made sure that when I started my fast, I did fast for at least 18 hours. So some days my eating window was slightly smaller than six, some days it was slightly bigger, um, but I did not eat for 18 hours every single day. So I, in my fasting app, every single day is green. I hit my 18-hour um, fast length every single time uh, but this is the end uh, of the video I originally set out to do um, seven days I've done 10 uh, rather than doing a week of 18 6 and then a week of 24 um, but yeah so um, some some thoughts and some uh, feedback or some you know uh, takeaways from this challenge um, I don't actually find 18 6 that hard um, I do feel better um, when I'm fasting for, you know, anywhere from 16 to 18, maybe even 13 hours plus. Um, I just find that when I'm not physically forcing myself to do this, I eat a lot throughout the day and I end up eating, you know, too much, too many calories, which is why I have a lot of weight to lose. Um, and I eat too late towards bed as well. So having a, a cutoff window around, you know, from probably 5.30 to 7 p.m. is good for me because that means I'm not snacking late at night. Um, I did lose about three kilos in these 10 days. Um, I have a lot more weight to lose, obviously, um, which is why I'm going to continue this and keep training for the Mother's Day Classic, uh, which is a couple months away, uh, May 10. Um, what's that, about two months away. Uh, yeah, but like I said, I'll continue on this journey. Um, hopefully, you know, over the course of this year, I'll lost all of my excess weight. Um, but I can probably do another update video sometime later in the year, how my intermittent fasting has gone. Um, I'll turn it around and show you the app now. So we can see here I've been fasting for 18 hours, 12 minutes. Um, if we go to the history, uh, we can see uh, the weight was, that was a couple of days ago, 126.6. I started at about 129.4. Uh, but we can see uh, my current streak is nine fasts. Obviously, once I end this one, that'll be the 10. Um, every single day, you can see uh, green. 
I have uh, hit my target, obviously except today because I haven't finalized that one yet. Uh, but you can see I'm over. I've hit my target. Extra time, 12 minutes. Um, average fast, 18.3 hours. Longest fast, 18.7 hours. Yeah, so this, this is really cool. Uh, and if you go into the history and scroll down a bit further, you can see how many hours you've fasted this month, this year, uh, and what your weight movement is doing. So I'll, I'll continue doing this. Uh, and then you earn little badges as well when you do five fast. So it looks like today I'll unlock my 10 fast badge uh, and 10 streak. Uh, but then if I don't keep going on the streak, obviously that'll reset. Milestones will continue. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll continue um, on this fasting as, as best I can and as often as I can. Uh, it's not always going to you know fit the lifestyle. I guess you know if it's something that you're really hardcore about, you can make it fit. Uh, but I'm just going to do my best for now over the next you know six months, see how I go having some success with it at the moment. And like I said, I generally don't find it that hard to delay my eating in the in the morning uh, till about lunchtime-ish. Uh, yeah, so what other takeaways? Um, yeah, just feeling lighter. Um, sleep, I'm not sure if my sleep's been that much better. Um, but as you'll see um, throughout this video and all of the documentation that I've done with the meals, I haven't even been eating the best. Uh, I haven't had anywhere near enough greens or vegetables. But, you know, I ate a lot of crap during this uh, 10 week, or 10 week, 10 day um, challenge as well. Like I had sausage rolls, I had some chocolate, I was having my Coke no sugars, obviously low calories, but still not good for you. Um, I had, uh, when we went to Melita, I had a massive double uh, cheeseburger with chips. I had a beer. Uh, we went to the UFC uh, day. I had, what did I have there? I had the um, the chicken wrap. I had chips with that. I had like two pints and like five or six whiskeys. Um, uh, I had Maccas after that. So obviously the exercise has definitely helped me uh, lose the weight. But once I fine tune this diet as well and don't have as much crap in that 10 day period ongoing uh, in a week, you know, I might have maybe one day where I can have a little bit of a splurge. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that the weight loss will continue and, and it may be more rapid than what I've done in the last 10 days. Uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the journey. Uh, if you've learned something from it, that's great. Uh, if you have any thoughts uh, or comments, feel free to put them down below. Um, and what about yourself? Have you done any fasting? What's your preferred method? I know there's lots of different uh, methods out there. You've got the circadian rhythms, you've got the 18.6, you've got the 24s, you've got the OMAD, um, you've got the, I think the warrior, that might be a combination of some of them, uh, the warrior fast. Uh, and there's, what else is out there? Uh, maybe there's some stuff I haven't heard of. Um, I do like to read this stuff when it, when it comes out, and different things that people are trying. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the 10 days and my food log. Mm -hmm.